Sage Plus Analysis Software is a collection of more than 80 tools for new and existing equipment covering a wide spectrum of analysis including fitness for service, equipment design code, material tools, fluid and heat transfer, specialty in-service evaluation, safety and stress analysis. Sage Plus runs in the Plant Manager platform allowing for seamless integration and data sharing with other E2G software products such as API RBI. Let's look at how Sage Plus can be used to complete a common fitness for service job. The Plant Manager platform provides a flexible structure for Sage Plus analyses. On the left is the navigation tree. I can work in a local database which is stored anywhere on my computer or on a network database stored on a server. I can connect to multiple databases at the same time. Everything in Plant Manager is right mouse driven. If I want to create a new folder or analysis module, I right click then select the item to create. I'll create a new folder and then a new shell module. A yellow field indicates a required value. If any required data is missing, it will be flagged with a red X next to the missing field as well as on the tab at the top. Notice some of these values are in italics. These are default values that are pre-populated when I create the module. I've set up an analysis project for a depropanizer tower that has several local thin areas. I've organized the project into three folders. A folder for my inspection data, my Sage Plus analysis modules, and a final report folder. The inspection data folder contains the periphery files needed for my analysis. This PDF is an inspection report showing four distinct regions of thinning. Based on API 579 Part 5, an inspection grid was established for each area of thinning. These JPEG files are photographs to show how each area was gridded. The grid data for each thin area was entered into this Excel file. One of the nice things about Plant Manager is that it allows you to drag and drop files from any Windows directory and store them right in your database so all of your information is in one location. You can drag JPEGs, Excel files, PDFs, and they can all be open, manipulated, saved, and stored right in your database. In the Sage Plus Analysis folder, I've modeled just the shell section that was damaged in order to calculate the undamaged type calculations. On the Analysis Control tab, I specified the design code. Section 8 Division 1 is the default. Specify internal or external pressure. These are the types of calculations I can run. Stresses at the design condition, design required thickness, MAWP, retirement thickness. If you want to do a temperature re-rate, you could do an MAWT and the MDMT exemption for USC 66. On the design tab, I enter a pressure, temperature, post-weld heat treatment, weld efficiencies. On the geometry tab, I specify my shell type. This has all of the standard shell sections available in Div 1 and Div 2 Section 1. For material, I can select a material from the material database, which will bring in all the default values for the material. You can override these if you want to use any custom properties. After I've entered all the necessary data, I'm ready to run the analysis by clicking on this green Calculate icon. I can toggle from input to output to view the results. Results are produced for each of the calculation options I selected, design stress, MAWP, retirement thickness, and the MDMT exemption. From the retirement thickness results, I can compare the final retirement thickness to the grid data collected during inspection. Some of the readings are below this value, so further analysis is required. When I right-click the shell module, there are a few options I can add. If I want to do a damage calculation, I can add a fitness for service analysis. I could also add burst pressure calcs. If I wanted to stick a flange on the end of it or a nozzle in it, I can just add those directly under this one shell. Any analysis I add under the shell will inherit the basic shell information, so you don't have to re-enter the shell data for that analysis. I've already added four different API FFS modules, one for each local thin area. These will all share the same basic shell information. On the input tabs, I specify the damage mechanism. In this case, we're looking at local metal loss. This module has all the damage mechanisms from API 579 with the exception of fire damage. I select level 1 or level 2 evaluation, internal or external corrosion. For metal loss, 
This data was just copied and pasted from the Excel file that we looked at earlier into the grid on this FFS module. By default, this module uses the API 579 method, but I can select another method from this list. Once I've entered all the data and calculate, I can view the results. These are assessment applicability and limitations based on level 1 and level 2. There are some output graphs. This contour plot shows you where your critical location is. You also get these critical thickness profiles, which indicate that the lowest point is below the retirement thickness. These graphs can all be saved as separate graphic files for use in a report. The final result summary will list all of the load cases that were run. At the bottom, the fitness for service pressure and limiting structural discontinuity distance are highlighted. Each of these API FFS modules is a separate damage analysis, but all of them share the same basic shell information from this parent shell module. The last folder is where I've placed my final report, keeping everything pertaining to this assessment in one location. So that's an overview of how you could use the folder structure in Plant Manager to organize a project. I want to quickly show you another option for creating a Sage Plus analysis following the RBI structure. I've created a typical RBI hierarchy. My corporation, equity, oil and gas, plant, unit. Here's the depropanizer tower we looked at earlier. For the purposes of this demonstration, only the shell course with damage was modeled. If I right click the component, I have the option to attach the shell analysis module directly under it. The shell will then automatically inherit basic information for that component so no re-entry is necessary. I can attach the FFS modules just as we saw in the example before. I can still create folders for my supporting information. In this case, I created a parent folder and subfolders for my inspection data and my final report. So you can see that Plant Manager offers a large degree of flexibility in how to organize your work. I've shown you a basic overview of Sage Plus used for a common fitness for service assessment. This is just one of many analysis tools contained in the Sage Plus software. In addition to fitness for service, Sage Plus offers analysis tools for equipment design code, material tools, fluid and heat transfer, specialty in-service evaluation, safety, and stress analysis. It can be used in conjunction with API RBI to keep all of your fixed equipment data and analysis stored in a single database. Thank you for watching. For more information on Sage Plus analysis tools or to request a live demonstration, please email software underscore sales at equityinch.com or call 216-658-2273.